Good morning, everyone. We are live on Facebook. And we're going to be live on YouTube now in just a minute. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I added puppy cam just for um, while you guys see me because um, I had people comment that they love the puppy cam. So this is Carly and Kobe, their brother and sister. Um, today we have a lot to go over. So we're going to get started right away. We are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. There will be a giveaway in this video. And you have to be on YouTube to enter the giveaway. It's going to be in the comments. If you don't have a YouTube account, you really need to set up a YouTube account or you are really missing out. Let me show you some things you might be missing out on. Um... Where'd that other image go? Hold on. There we go. So I'm doing, this is in another video, the easy press. You have to be a subscriber and you have to comment on that video. That video is in the link in the, is in the description. A link to that video is in the description of this YouTube video. So if you're not on YouTube, you go to youtube.com slash Melody Lane. It's very easy. And log into your YouTube account. If you don't have one, make one. It's free. You don't have to make videos. You just set up an account. I don't want you guys to miss out on this. Okay? So, let's get back to what we're saying. All right. I have a lot of things to go over. I do this. Hi. Hi. I'm Melody Lane. Let me tell you who I am. I'm a Cricut product expert. We do these design space classes every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. It's 8 a.m. on the Pacific Coast. It's a little early for Saturday, but um, it's in the almost afternoon on the East Coast. So they're free. I answer questions and um, we go over different things every week. Sometimes we're going over the same thing every week. Um, so come on over here to YouTube. I'm looking at my notes. I never have notes on these videos. And today I did because I wanted to show you that I got both giveaways. Okay. Now, Design Space has had a plugin two weeks ago. It's a plugin update. If you have not logged in to Design Space, you have to go to design.cricket.com. That is correct, right? They've changed it over the years, but I think that's it. Uh, just go to your design space, make sure you're logged in, go to a new canvas, play around. If you have not done that in two weeks and get that new plugin, don't wait until you use it in a month because in two more weeks, they're gonna have another plugin. They're constantly updating design space and they need you to get this plugin now Thanks for subscribing. Before you can um, get the new plugin. So you don't have to create anything. You don't have to do anything. Just go log in. And because they want you to log in, they gave us something free for two weeks that's amazing. It's one of the best cartridges I love. I like to make cards and these are the best cards, I think. Cool Crazy Cards is free for everybody for two weeks. Go cut them out. Um, these need directions. I, for, I did a video on one of these cards two or four years, three years ago maybe. And I was, I was putting it together. I'm like, how do these go together? So there are there is a handbook. The link to that handbook is in the description of this video on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, you go to the description under the video, then uh, that will take you to the handbook that will show you how to put each card together. So yeah, Joan, isn't that an awesome cartridge? Yes, there's a dog on my screen. Someone just asked on Facebook. Those are two dogs. I don't have a two-headed dog. There's two dogs. Um, so we're going to go over to Design Space. And, oh, that was the... There we go. I was hooking up that camera. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let me show you this. Do you see? 
That is not a third dog. That is a catacorn. It's a cat with a unicorn. Stuffy, fluffy, soft. I got from some store. I don't know. Maybe Walmart. Okay. Back to our class. So this is what we're going to be doing today. I got this because somebody asked this question in the last video I did of showing all the new images. When the new images come out, I show you all the new cartridges. It's not every week now. Sometimes it's every two weeks. I did one last week and somebody asked, these were two new images. Somebody asked, um, can you show how to put a bunny in a coffee cup? And I thought, sure, I'll do that after we show you all the images. And then my mind forgot. So um, I forgot to do it. I apologize to her. Thank you, Connie. I apologize to her and I put this together and then I um, said we'll go over it today. Um, okay. So let, let me show you, this is also a question and things I have been seeing in my class. Welcome, Melba. In, not in my class, in my Facebook group. I have a Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melanie Lane. You are all welcome to join, join in on the fun, get inspiration, ask questions. And a lot of people don't know how to search images. They only know how to upload images from other places or SVGs or they go shopping on Etsy. There are 70,000 images just in Cricut Access. 70,000 and they get more every single week. There's more and more and more cartridges. So I wanna show you how to find them. A lot of people are searching. Let me show you, let me go to home. So this is home. This is my, look, I got some new cards. My supporters are gonna be getting this one. It says sisters. All right. Sorry, guys. If you don't know me, you're new to my channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, I do get sidetracked. Um, so, oh, I know where they're going. I, I just don't go here. <laughs> Here's projects. So they're going in here and searching for images. There are a lot of projects. Oh, that's cool. There are a lot of projects, but there's... 70,000 images in not in this area. Those images are all like some, these images are all in the other place, but this is not where you search for images. So let me click back here. So they're going there. You go to images, please. If you're a brand newbie, please pay attention to this part right here. I'm going to show you the cartridge, so don't worry about the name. I'll sh you'll get it in a minute. You might want to jot it down. You could cut out each one of these cards. You have to do it within the next two weeks. You don't have to put them together yet. You can just cut them out for free and have them. Okay, so you click here where it says images. Look to the left of your screen. Click on that. And then this takes you just to what they're featuring as new, not new, but just, I think some of the most popular images or images they want to feature. Okay, so what we're going to do to find that cartridge, you can search here for single images, but we're going to search for the cartridge because we want to look at the whole cartridge. So we're going to click on cartridges. Now, I did notice a lot of people thought you only click this if you had those plastic cartridges that you put in your machine. You don't need to have those plastic cartridges. You just need to click this and you get all of these image sets. Now there's hundreds, maybe thousands. I don't know, but there's a whole lot of them. So I'm going to show you first, uh, cause I promised them I would show them how to find it. I'm going to show you how to find two cartridges. So one of them is 3d letters. And this one was in a digital mystery box last year. 
So if you bought all the digital mystery box, you already own this cartridge. So it's 3D. I'm just going to search that, see what happens. See if it's in here. There it is. So this is the 3D alphabet. You can just search alphabet too. 3D is much easier to type. Um, so we're going to view all 36 images. These are by Lori Whitlock. And she does have videos on putting this together, at least one video. And somebody in my group made the numbers 2019 for the year for somebody who's graduating, which is an awesome idea. Everybody wants to do it now. So all you have to do if you want to do that is actually, I think, let's see if this will work. Yep, there's the two. And I wonder if we can just change it to zero. There it is. Now you don't have, I've never searched it this way. <laughs> I just thought instead of searching through all those images, you can go and just click on which one you want. If it has a green one around, you can go and search and get more images. And then nine, right? I didn't get that one yet. I can tell because right down here, it shows me the images. So we're going to click it to get the green thing around it. Now we have 9102. That's not right. Yes, it is. They're, they don't have to be in any order. We're going to click insert image. And it's going to look like this. And we're going to cut those out. Choose the paper you want. And you can size it too. If you're going to size it, you want to size all of that together. This was, yeah, this was a new one. So if you want to, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see it better. I have my whole computer zoomed in so you guys can see my numbers and things so it's more clear for you. So if I want to change the size of these, you have to be careful and make them not so they fit on the mat, but you have to select them all. If you just size it all to the size you want, it might be too big. No, nope, it worked. Oh, we can even make it bigger. So you can just put a box around it or click select all. I just drag it. Thank you, Diana. That's so sweet. So you can make them any size you want. Okay, have you guys learned anything? I know most of you who watch my videos every week have not learned anything yet. And I appreciate your patience when we're trying to teach new people new things. Okay, I'm gonna cancel and I'm gonna click new. We're going to replace, I don't wanna save this. Um, I might do that, but not right now. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the free cartridge. We're gonna click on images. And we're gonna click on cartridges. And we're going to search crazy. I'm just searching crazy. I think that's the one, right? Oh, not filter, click search. Oh no. Oh, crazy cute cards. Okay, here it is. Crazy didn't work. I don't know why. So these are the free images to see every image. You don't click here. Like there are a lot more images than what you see on this strip here, okay? Don't just think that's all there is. Now in this one, that is all there is. It says there's only four and we see four. But over here, it says 30. And see when we put the mouse over it, it turns green? Click on that. Did you see it said free? Free, 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 free. These are amazing. Look at the babies in there. And then these arms close over the baby. These, there's like, it's not just a flat card. These are so cool. This one's a wallet. These fit inside each other. This one is a lounge chair. Aren't they so cute? Look, it's donuts. This one I did do a video on. It's somewhere on my channel. Did it a few years ago. Oh, and this one I did. This one I didn't know what I was doing first, I think. But then um, 
We got it fixed. This one's so cute. Look. The elephants. They're so cute. Look at these. This one, I also did a video on. It's one of my Father's Day videos. This is an amazing file. This opens up. I'm going to show you that one real fast. This is a toolbox that opens up and there's tools inside. Look at this. These are great cards. They're free. Cut them out now. Yeah, love the elephants. Go cut 10 of these cards out. Okay, let's insert this just so I can show you this one. And then we're going to get to the bunny. Look, it says Happy Father's Day. Isn't that cool? So, And it's so easy. It cuts this out like it's sliced out. And then I did a video on these where I added uh, leather. I used the Cricut faux leather that's wood look. And I made the handle a different color. And I made the little grips here a different color. I think I used silver poster board to make the wrench. It, it's really cool. And then this is the envelope it fits in. And this is actually, see these score lines? It actually is a box, kind of. It will fold flat, but then it opens up. It's so cool. Okay. Uh, Slayer says it doesn't work for me after the calibration. I'm not sure if you were answering another question. Someone was asking you because there's no calibration needed. Oh, what's wrong with my prints with Cricut always cut slightly off. Uh, if you've calibrated and it works good, then uh, call Cricut support. All right. Okay. Are we ready for, let's go back to my projects because I saved the bunny in a cup, but I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, a lot of people have asked me this, what do they do here now? Remember I have that father's day tool chest card on my mat. If I wanted to save that Father's Day tool chest, I would click save. I don't want to save it because I already have that in my projects and I made it a little better. So I'm going to hit replace so it does not save what's on my screen. Or if I forgot what's there, I'm like, oh no, I don't know if I need to save or not. Then you'd hit cancel and start again and look at your screen. Okay. So I'm going to hit replace because I don't want to save this. Now it's the bunny in the cup. And my dogs snore. If you're new to my channel, they're sitting right next to me in their bed and they snore. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. You know what? I'm going to open up another thing in design space so I can work in another one and go back to this one. So I'm just going to open up. I just type in design.cricket.com. See, there it is. So now I can have two of these open and I'm going to go to new. Oh, now we got to find that bunny and that coffee. So I'm going to search bunny. Please put your questions in all caps. Are these new bunnies? I don't remember these bunnies. These might be new this week. Origami animals. Now, if I wanted to see the whole cartridge of origami animals, I think this is a brand new cartridge. I can just click that word. Maybe it's not. I don't know. You guys, have we seen these before? Look at the elephant. Aren't they cute? Okay, I'm going to go back. Um... Oh, I don't want to be in this cartridges. I just want to be in images. Okay, we're sorry, guys. But 
if you didn't know how to find images, I just showed you how to find cartridges from these. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these. These are Miss Kate cuttable ones. And we can we could have used this bunny. Do you guys want me to use a different? Well, I kind of want to show you the same bunny because some of these bunnies were so easy to use. Maybe we'll do the boy bunny. And I thought, well, that was easy. Like, I think some of these, now that's the one I used. We're, we'll do the boy bunny. Um, it was kind of just easy. It just had a head and you just moved it on top of a coffee cup. So some of them are really easy, but I want to show you one that's not so easy. Look at how cute they are. So you know how to do it when it's more difficult. That's why. Okay. We got the bunny. We need the coffee. And I'm going to have you guys help me pick the coffee cup. I want to thank Jamie and all my moderators and everybody else in the chat who are helping other people. Life happens, coffee helps. Oh, I forgot to have my caffeine today. I forgot my vitamins. Okay, now I'm just sidetracked reading all these coffee images. Now, do you want a cup like this or a taller cup, which is probably more of like a mug? So tell me if you want a cup or a mug. I think that's the one I used. Do we want a cup or a mug? Lisa on Facebook didn't know you could use more than one window. When I show my new, the new cartridges every week, I sometimes have 50 tabs open of Cricut Design Space on the new project. That's how I go really quickly to each, um, to each cartridge. Seems like more mugs. All right. And you guys can choose any ones you want. Which <laughs> Should we do the sm smiling or the tongue? I'm not doing that one. The tongue or the smile? Oh, somebody has a great question while you guys are answering tongue or smile. Um, Angela's asking, if I save the images from the cartridges available for two weeks to a new design project, will they remain there after the two weeks are up? They will remain in your projects. They never leave your project. So they will remain in your project, but after the two weeks, if you go to try to cut it, then it will ask you to pay if you don't have access. They're also in access, so if you have access, um, you don't have to pay anyway. They're always free as long as you have access. Okay, I think we're getting the answer of more of the smile. Now, if you guys want to make the tongue, you can make the tongue. It's the same thing. Okay, now here we have two images. Look at all these layers. Don't worry, we won't end up with that many layers. And we have the mug. Uh, we're going to have to... All right, let's just start with the mug first. Right? No, wait. Let me start with him. That's probably about the right size. I'm looking at the bunny and cup. You, you can do what you want. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do. I, get, I want you guys to do this. So we're going to ungroup first. And this, just to move this guy out of our way, I'm going to hide it by clicking the eye in the layers panel on the name of the image. 
So it hides everything. Otherwise, I could just hide the little... Is that a cookie? What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't drink coffee, so... Okay, let's hide that just to get it out of our way. And this is ungrouped. We don't need this. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> Why? Ronald is giving wine to everybody today. Okay, we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him. And him. And him. And we're going to keep the bow. Okay. We're going to... I don't want to move all these images. Okay. You know what? I'm going to undo a minute. I'm going to move these down here. So when I move the bow, I can move it together. So I'm going to group those. It'll just make it easier. These I'm going to, I clicked on that and I'm clicking my shift key on my keyboard and clicking the other one. I'm going to group those two. I don't want to move them singly. Now that's all we need from, from this image. We don't need any of this. So we're going to grab that and we're going to delete it. Okay. We're going to move this back over here. I'm going to try to... Okay, now we're going to bring the coffee back. Do we have any questions so far on this, on the bunny? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Simple holiday cards are also free. Thanks, Sue, for bringing that up. Um, okay, now I'm going to scroll down, get the coffee. We're going to bring that back. Okay, now we don't need everything on here. And, okay, let me ungroup first. So ungroup is in the top of the layers panel. If you don't want a face on there and you just want a coffee mug, what you can do is, you know what, let's bring these here so you can tell there's a hole through there. You select, it has to be ungrouped. You select this image and you click contour. And then I can click hide all contours. It even hid this one, but we want that one. So now we have a solid cup with no face. Now let's say we want the face back. I mean, we can save this and cut it, and then later on we can take that and bring the face back. Or say we don't want the cheeks. We just want the other part of the face. See, now there's no cheeks. Okay, now some of you tell, raise your hand if you just learned what contour it was. I show it in every video, so most of you should not be raising your hand. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of this. We're not going to be using that. And I'm going to get rid of the coffee. I didn't get rid of... Wait, before I do, let's... Just drag him. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get rid of it. No, just in case I want it back sometime, I'm gonna hide it. So I'm gonna hide it here. It will always be here, and I can always use it later. I need to duplicate this. This is the piece that goes up here. Uh, we need to try to get this bunny in the cup. Let's arrange him to the top. So I'm gonna put send to front after I clicked arrange. And how are we gonna get this bunny in the cup? We gotta get him in the cup. There's not really a hole in the cup. We actually, if we wanted that hole in the cup, and I'm not gonna worry about these lines here if you wanted, you could slice those off, but you're not going to see them once you put this on, or you could cut them off with scissors. I'm not, I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, I could slice this through this cup by selecting that, hitting shift, hitting the cup, and hitting slice, if that's something you wanted to do. 
but I don't want to because I think I really like that better there to see the inside of the cup. So we're going to undo. There we go. Thank you, Ronnell. <laughs> Ronnell's getting the cheese to Ronald's wine. Ronnell and Ronald. Okay. Um, how are we going to get this bunny to fit there? So here's what we need to do. Somehow we need to slice the bottom of this off to reach that. So in order to do that, I'm going to make a little like cookie cutter. Kiona! Thank you, Kiona. You are amazing. So we're going to get a square. Now, what we're doing with this is we're making a knife or a cookie cutter or something like that. And before I'm going to duplicate this again. I always like to duplicate in case I need it again because we may need it more than once. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to make a knife. I'm going to move it to the front because I need to slice this bunny with this exact um, line here. If I were to just take this big line and try to cut that off, it's going to cut off part of her face and her whole neck. It's not going to work. Thank you, Ronald. Um, so we're going to slice this. And it's taking forever. Yes, contour removes elements. And it can bring them back. I don't know what's happening to my design space. It's going slow. Is my video clear? Am I having internet issues? It says looking for networks. Thank you, Ronell. Okay, it's clear here. I wonder if I... Okay, oh, well, I got this. And I have these two little spots here that I don't need because of that. But it won't let me do anything because... Oh, wait, what is that? Let's just delete that. I don't know what's happening. It's going in and out. Thank you, Debbie. So what we're going to do, where's that piece back? Don't need that one. Don't need that. We are going to cut this bunny. <laughs> that sounds awful. I'm so sorry. And you need to decide where you want the bunny coming out. I kind of had it more up a little bit, but you can decide where you want that bunny out. But what I want to do is get rid of these three, these little dots here. And something is happening in design space. See, this one, I kept the coffee in it. I wonder if I can just do it here. Um, I'm going to go to this image. I right click in the layers panel and it'll bring me right to the image. I can click on that. See, this design space is working. That one's not. Um, 
I think I'm gonna have to restart this. Let's see. No, we're gonna restart. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do it quickly. So if you didn't get it in the first one, that's so cute. Was that, were those the ones? Yep, this one, okay. Now I'm going to redo it. Whoops. I forgot to get the coffee cup. I'm going to do it really fast. So if you just joined and you didn't see me do the other and you're new to design space, you might get a little lost, but you can rewatch the beginning of the video because now we're just having another lesson. Now I'll show you how quickly you can do it. Okay, we're going to hide this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we're gonna size this guy first. He's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna hide the coffee. We're gonna ungroup. I'm just gonna kinda do like what I do and I talk to myself while I do it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab all this, delete that. Uh, delete that, delete. All right, I'm gonna grab his head I'm going to group that so he's grouped because I only grabbed the top part of his head so everything connected went there. We don't need that. Um, I'm going to hit this, hit shift, hit this, hit group, and we're going to, whoops, we're going to grab this guy and group that. Okay. Now we're going to get the coffee cup. See, did it much faster this time, didn't I? We're gonna ungroup, delete, uh, hide, and we need this, we need to duplicate that, and we need a square. We're gonna make a cookie cutter. We're gonna put that there, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do like I did last time. I'm gonna bring that to the front. My dogs are snoring, and we're going to slice. There we are. Look. I'm done now. Instead of waiting for design space to scroll, 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 I did that. Now there's two little dots here, and I'm going to hit contour and get rid of those dots. Now I could try to click on these little dots here, or just go to these here. Or just click hide all contours, only one button. Now, hold on, you guys move there. I'm gonna ungroup this, because remember I grouped that so I can move it. Now we need, whoops. I'm gonna undo, undo, undo. Whoops, <laughs> sorry guys. I'll just go up that way. I just wanna group it so I can move him around together. And I want to kind of see. So I kind of want to cut it off here. We're going to move this one to the front. So I just moved the square to the front. And I'm just going to line this up here. So I'm going to slice. <clears throat> I'm going to use this black piece here to cut off the bunny. Oh, that sounds horrible. So I have this black piece selected. I'm going to click shift and then I'm going to click the bunny and they're both selected. See, they're both selected because they're grayer. I'm going to hit the slice button. Oh, the bunny's the marshmallow and the coffee. That's so cute. Uh, and now we're done with this. We're done with this. Click all that. It always makes more images. And we can move these to the front. There. Now we have the bunny and the coffee. Okay, we got to do the rest of the bunny, though. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to cut this part off. But you, oh, you know what? I, that's what I did last time, too. I don't need that bunny in the same spot. Actually, I'm going to cut this bunny's head off. 
boy, if people didn't know what I was doing, if they just had a microphone in my house, <laughs> I'm cutting up bunnies in my house. That sounds horrible. I am going to just slice this off that bunny. If you do not see the slice button lid up down here at the bottom of the layers panel, it's because you have something attached or grouped and because you don't have only two images. See, I have this blue bunny and I have the square selected. There's nothing else selected. So if you don't see it, you gotta look for the reason. Don't blame design space or anything else, okay. So now we're going to move him up there. We're going to move him to the back. And then we're going to move this there. And then we're going to move this there. I'm going to group those. So now we put those there. We put his little bow tie arranged to the front. And his little hands arrange to the front. Now, he's done. Now you can choose any rabbit, any animal you want, who kinda, you know, something's kinda sitting up like that. You could put a puppy in there. Oh my gosh, Susan, you're so funny. You could do a hair raising situation. Mickey, thank you so much. Um. Isn't that cute? Now here's the girl. And here's the boy. And let's save this. Now, when I make projects in my live videos, I share my projects with you. So we're going to say bunny boy in a cup. Actually, he could be a girl. Let me show you. Oh, put a space in there. That's a stupid name, Bunny B. Oi. I could move this up here. I could change the colors of these if I wanted. Isn't that cute? I could change these to pink. <laughs> Ronald's too funny. All right, what do you guys think? Oh, I was gonna share the file. So to share the file, let me go down here. So many people ask how to share the file. This is the URL in my browser. Because I saved this, I can copy. I, I didn't copy, I just highlighted it. I'm hitting Control C or you can right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to go to YouTube. So I'm sharing it on YouTube. And for those of you just joining on Facebook and everyone, everywhere else, um, go to YouTube. We're going to do a giveaway in a few minutes. Uh, Lisa Jones says, you mean you can use those cartridges she uses on her lives for two weeks free? No, those two cartridges, there's two cartridges that Cricut has put out for free for two weeks. I'm not making a card out of the bunny in the cup. There's the, oh, what do you do with it from here? A card or a shirt? You can put it on a card. You can put it on uh, an Easter card or something. Uh, what about pattern for the body? I would just, if I wanted a whole bunny, I would just get it from Design Space. But you could cut this out and put it on, it would be cute, I think, on the inside of a card too, or the outside of a card. Do you flatten it? If I wanted to do a print and cut, I would flatten it. So if I wanted 
to print this out and just cut around the outside edge and it would cut out here. Everywhere you see grid, it would cut out. Just select it all. Wait, I gotta move this back up so you can see the buttons. And click flatten and it will cut out it will print and cut that out. So I click make it. This is another question about print and cut. So many people don't know how to do print and cut and they don't understand how print and cut works. And I just say, because you haven't tried. I, it's so easy, you just, you can flatten something or change it to print. And now I just hit continue. Hit send to printer and i like to do advanced options everybody's thing will change here depending on the printer they have so i switch that to best i feed from because i have a rear printer feed and a front printer feed i suggest you get a printer with rear printer feed so you can use cardstock and thicker materials. So I'm going to choose the rear tray and I'm going to search or choose heavyweight paper. Thank you, Nancy. And then I'm going to click print and it will print this out. I'm not going to do that <laughs> just because I'm not going to print it out. Um, let's go back to here. So when I get it from my printer, it's going to look just like this. Thank you so much, Lori. And then I'm gonna load this paper on my mat and load it just like I would load anything else. It's that easy. All right, we're gonna do the giveaway. You guys all need to be in the chat on YouTube. This, if you're watching the replay, I'm really sorry. Uh, this is only for live viewers on YouTube. So everybody can come over to YouTube. And uh, thanks, Lisa says she learned a lot today. She's on Facebook. <laughs> the, uh, and so I want you guys all to raise your hand if you learned something. That's not part of the giveaway yet. But... Um, I like to see people learning, that's why I'm here, to make you all understand better. I have a playlist of all these classes. There's 70, I don't know, there might be 80 now videos of my weekly videos. You learn something from every single one. You might learn 100 things from one of them. Okay, we're back. Look at the dogs. All right, you guys are raising your hand. Okay, now, oh, for the giveaway, this giveaway is completely random. I do not choose a winner. I'm going to have you choose. I'm not going to tell you yet because everyone will start doing it. Um, so what I'm giving away is this. This is Anna's Fantastic Flip Cards Digital Cartridge. Um, for those of you new, whoops, this way right here. Puppy cam. Those are my two dogs, Kobe and Carly. They're sleeping. Um, the, I, ha there's an, I don't know, part of the software I use will choose the winner. It chooses the number randomly. I don't choose the number. So don't try to guess a number you think I would choose. I don't choose the number. It chooses the number and it will know who got that number first. So I don't have to search, oh my gosh, it's going so fast. How do I know who said the number first? The machine tells me who says the number first. Hold on just a second. Okay. Uh, hold on. I got to find that. I had that. I have so many tabs open. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So we are going to choose a number. Now, it does not start until Nightbot 
Some of you have seen Nightbot in the chat. Nightbot will be in the chat. You guys, the numbers don't count yet. Don't, the numbers don't count until Nightbot says to choose a number between 1 and 100. So you have to wait for Nightbot. All right, here we go. There we go. Now start guessing a number from 1 to 100. And it's only on YouTube, not on Facebook or Twitch. Because that's the only way Nightbot can get the winner. That's the reason. No one's picked the number yet. That's crazy. I can see the number, what it is he tells me ahead of time. Oh, we got a winner. There, Nightbot says, Heather Bingle has won the giveaway. She is a subscriber since June 1st, 2019. And it's uh, the number is 44. That's kind of awesome because my birthday is April 4th, which is 4-4. So even though I said it's not, a, that's probably a number I might choose, but I didn't choose it. He did. Um, so Heather Bingle, I need you to email me at Melody Lane designs at gmail.com or um you can try to message me or um i got your profile right here but through youtube we can't do messages so you need to email me to get this all right guys so uh oh the big announcement i forgot tuesday I have already set up a video and I told you it was going to be at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern and it's not because Tuesday is Mardi Gras in the villages and my sister's family is in town and my son is here and we all want to do Mardi Gras so we have to leave early so we can get seats and stuff so we are going to do Tuesday's video at noon Eastern time so it's going to be 12 o'clock on Tuesday um, and oh we're gonna be doing this type of card and I made a no I made one more card of this already and I'm gonna be making more before Tuesdays I made a really cool one that draws on it and stuff it's so pretty awesome thank you for subscribing guys make sure you click the bell if you like this video and you learned something from this video, please click like. Have you picked a winner for the Cricut Maker? Yes. Um, I posted that everywhere on Facebook, but if you go to click the entry where you enter, you will see it. It posts the winner in the raffle copter. So Sarah Condon won. And she already has her maker and her year of access. She got right away. And she also got all my, my password to my images too. Uh, Melody, where did you get your chair? Um, Bryant Home? I don't know, get a catalog, catalog that's like Bryant Home stuff. I got a new quilt for my bed too from there. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, that class went by really fast, didn't it? Uh, but I hope everybody learned so much. And uh, I will see you on Tuesday. And 
Thursday. Something's going on Thursday. Did you guys enter my giveaway for um, my subscribers? It's for the Easy Press bundle. Let me show you. So you get the large Easy Press. You get the large Easy Press tote. You get the large Easy Press mat. You get the weeding tools. You get the sampler of mesh iron on. You get the rainbow sampler of iron on and this classic sampler of iron on and an iron on protective sheet. It's going to one winner. All you have to do to enter is comment on that video for my subscribers. It says must watch. There's a link in this description if you want to see that. Look, I lost a dog. He's laying here on the floor, not in the bed. All right, guys, I will see you. Love you. Bye.